Berlin, the home of currywurst, techno and debauchery, right? That may be the city's reputation, but there's much more on offer here than sausages and excessive revelry. This is a city in perpetual flux. Its ability to constantly reinvent itself can be attributed to its complex history. For a long time, Berlin lacked the wealth and stability of other capital cities. So, ingenuity prevailed. A broad-minded approach to cultural infrastructure and funding saw an influx of creatives, and with them, the emergence of a vibrant art scene, innovative startups, and independent retailers. The Monocle Travel Guide to Berlin will take you on a journey through the city's outposts of good food, design, hospitality, and more. Whether you're after a cozy microbrewery or a neoclassical swimming pool, we'll lead you through the lesser known routes. And then there's our roundup of the architectural landmarks telling the tale of this once divided city. The established opera houses, theatres and 170-odd museums are still going strong, but Berlin wouldn't be Berlin without its energy and edginess. The creative scene continues to thrive, although it's certainly not as cheap for artists to live here as it used to be. The culture pages of our guide cover this vibrant art scene, mixing institutional with DIY and top-down with bottom-up. Kindle Center for Contemporary Art launched its first exhibition in a former brewery to much fanfare in 2014. Swiss-German owners Burkhard Warnholt and Saloma Grizzard gradually refurbished the remaining sections of the listed red brick complex and the fully revamped center opened in 2016. The sprawling industrial space is also home to a cafe called Koenig Otto, where visitors sip coffee surrounded by retired brewing kettles. Babylon was built as a silent film cinema in the 1920s, was used as a normal cinema during the GDR era, and closed due to damage and decay in the early 1990s. Now it's alive and kicking again as a favorite art house cinema in the Mitte district. The monthly event, Video Art at Midnight, brings in big name artists to screen their films and personally discuss them with the audience. It's a rare opportunity to sit with local diehard fans of video art and watch pieces normally shown on museum walls. Schiller Theatre first opened its doors in 1907, but was reduced to rubble during the Second World War. The venue was rebuilt and reopened in 1951, becoming the most coveted theatre in West Berlin. Classical productions of works such as the Magic Flute are frequent crowd-pleasers, while more experimental performances do make the odd appearance too. More recently, the theatre was the temporary home of the Berlin State Opera, while the company's main concert hall on Unter den Linden was renovated. Through persistence, Berlin has forged a new identity and grown its own wealth. Few cities can rival its verve and tenacity. It's a place that begs to be explored, so turn the page and let us introduce you to its most winsome charms. Published by Gestalten, the Monocle Travel Guide to Berlin is the 18th title in our Travel Guide series. Cities are fun. Let's explore. 